Ready? So the affirmative side um, argues that undocumented students in higher education should receive access to greater federal financial aid in the United States. And for our claims to say that undocumented students are being blocked from significantly contributing to the U.S. and that eligibility incentives will improve national statistics and that overall financial aid should be provided to undocumented students. That way they can seize better opportunities. Um, to begin, uh, one of the biggest blockers for this is um, the passage of the, of the DREAM Act, which is the Development, Relief, and Education for Alien Minors Act that was first introduced in um, 2001. And over a decade, it's been reintroduced um, in Congress through various forms. And um, the latest blockage was in uh, 2010. And with the DREAM Act, for the first six years, qualifying persons would be granted conditional resident status or permanent res residency, which could also allow them to become uh, permanent citizens later on. In order to be eligible, you need to have proof of having arrived in the United States before the, the age of 16 and uh, have been in the United States for five consecutive years at uh, the first point of entry. And also, qualifying individuals must be between the ages of 12 and 35 and have graduated from high school. So that's the first part. The second part is that in order to get those um, residency statuses, you must have graduated community college uh, or with an associate's degree or have finished two years of college that's geared towards a four-year degree. And in addition, um, you can also um, serve two years in the military. So that's just to qualify, and this has uh, failed to pass, and it's uh, blocked undocumented students from obtaining a higher education because of the other implications, the legal implications that are involved. So first, to return to that undocumented students are being blocked from significantly contributing to the United States. Um, first, undocumented students do not have the proper resources to pay for college. In 2007, the median household income for undocumented immigrants was $36,000, compared to $50,000 for people born in the United States. And currently, undocumented students do not receive any federal financial aid and can only apply to state and school aid if available. So the availability of this aid varies from state to state as well as uh, from school to school. So in, in California, um, students can receive a Cal grant, but they would not be able to receive uh, any federal financial aid. In addition, poor access to higher education reduces opportunities to obtain higher paying jobs and thus the ability to pay higher taxes. According to the National Center for Educational Statistics, those with only a high school diploma, on average, make only $23,000 a year. This leaves them to fall into the 15% income tax bracket. However, the average income for a person holding a degree, a college degree, is $48,500. $48,500, which falls into the 25% tax bracket. So there is a difference of 10%, and even more if um, the person obtains a higher payment. Uh, position. In addition, undocumented students have access to primary school, which costs taxpayers on average over $10,000 per pupil per year. So why not allow them to pay back into the system? For the second claim, eligibility incentives improve national statistics. Um, we support this by a report um, from the Community Foundation, which finds, <coughs> or I'm sorry, so why this is significant is because um, the incentive to graduate high school improves high school dropout rates. And according to a report from the Community Foundation, undocumented high school students are five times more likely to drop out of high school than foreign-born undoc uh, foreign -born documented youth. In addition, um, 
There is an incentive to, make good, to maintain good moral character and stay out of trouble, and this can help uh, alleviate national crime rates. Um, also, because a higher education, the ability to obtain a higher education and hold a degree uh, directly correlates with um, crime rates for that individual. And then overall, financial aid should be provided to undocumented students. That way, they can seize better opportunities and make greater, oper make greater contributions to the U.S. as a whole. Um, this would not permanently take taxpayer money because they would not qualify for federal grants, only federal loans, which must be paid back. I don't know. It's your speech. <laughs> okay.